Welcome to a productive day in my life. So I started off my day doing some last minute revision and active recall for a physiology mid-sem exam that I had that day. Skeletal muscle. Extra fuse and muscle fibers. One thing that I do that I find really helpful is I try and verbalize the processes and concepts out loud. I've literally worn this jump of two weeks straight. Quarantine vibes, am I right? Okay, back to work. It's currently 10 o'clock and I am still doing my active recall. It's like pouring outside. Don't know if you can see. It's always like a cloud of fog and you just can't see anything. Um, but this is the setup I've got going on. So, these are my iPad notes. I've got this notebook from Muji where I literally just scribble down random things. If I like want to do questions or if I am trying to do active recall, I literally just scribble in here. And then this is my Notion setup, the workspace that I'm working through for this lecture, which has my active recall questions that I wrote after the lecture with the answers so I can test myself. Um, if you want to see how I fully use it and how I set it up, then there's a video on my channel where I go into more detail about that. For example, like this, I might go, it says explain the significance of this coactivation under this subtopic. So that is to ensure muscle tension is maintained. Yeah, ensure there is constant muscle tension. Then I just do that. And the stuff I usually get wrong, I've asked me to a diagram, I'll put in here. Just to like, so writing it jogs my memory. If you want to check out Notion and the other things that I'm using in this video, all of the links will be in the description. The afferent sensory neuron. Look at that beautiful drawing. But yeah, just so like I sort of get the idea, but not drawing that. How much it's pouring, you can't even see anything outside. So then basically after two hours of revision for my exam, I had a live lecture at 11. Even though I had an exam after this, I just thought it was good to keep a routine and try not to fall behind on my lectures. So I just went to it. As you can see, my lecture was quite surprised people were on there. I'm so happy to see people here. I didn't think I would have much of an audience today. So thanks for coming along. The physiology associated with that occurs. Pleural sacs are double membranes, so there's an inner arterioles and the bands of uh, smooth muscle that surround those. For us to then be able to move or change these pressure gradients within our body, in volume, we have a given pressure where those... 
so we want to dilate our, our vessels through a synthetic innovation here. And there's just an example of a sort of disease state where we get um, issues with resistance within our system in particular in something like asthma where they often will get this sort of inflammation or mucus build up uh, within these bronchioles and um, have this narrowing of their airways which is going to cons considerably impact on the resistance within their system and often um, Things like bronchodilators are given those sprays um, often target the smooth muscle in this area to dilate, hopefully. We will now take a quick intermission whilst I set my exam. Now I have most of the beginning of my to-do list checked off and it's currently like nearly two o'clock so i'm probably gonna go grab some lunch because i haven't eaten to to my exam so no. Because it's online tutoring, I just use QuickTime Player and the movie option to share my iPad screen so that when we're going through questions, I can show the working out. So I actually get her to do my question booklets that I made. So I get her to write like mind maps and then whatever syllabus points she doesn't understand, she will like put into the Google sheet that I made and then I'm able to go over those ones as well as the questions that she got wrong from the ones that I said. Yeah. So, if you want to access these question booklets and for like IB chemistry, then you can go onto my website study-collab.com and go into resources and they're all there. And the notes that I sort of just walked through are the ones that I sell on my website as well. And they're ones I just made when I was doing the IB. So that's sort of how I run my lessons. And I just go through the questions like, sort of step by step on my iPad which I connect to the screen. We did the lowest structure. You have six times three because the six valence electrons in oxygen. So usually when you have more bonds, like a triple bond will be stronger than a double bond, a double bond will be stronger than a single bond. Um, and the key relationship. So now I was just finishing up some work solutions to some of the questions we didn't have time to finish and then I was just prepping for the next lesson. And then I just made a quick Instagram post of some of my notes and you can find those at Study Collab. One of the last work tasks that I wanted to complete today was one more lecture because that's what would have been on my timetable for that uni day. So I was going through an anatomy lecture and this one was pre-recorded so I sort of just went through it at my own time and pace. And then here is me catching up with a friend on Zoom. Her green screen wasn't working too well, but you know, good enough. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a chocolate smoothie 
I've just put my frozen banana in there and I put some oat milk, cocoa powder and vanilla protein. After I made this smoothie, I really couldn't remember what I did between here and the next clip. One eternity later. So now I've just had dinner and now I'm going to finish off that lecture and do my notion questions for it until 8. Currently 7.16 p.m. Look how long this word is. Acyl glucosyrolamide. Can't even say it. This lecture actually turned out to be like so long. Um, a lot of details, so there's a lot of pages here. This is the brownie that I made yesterday. And ISO has made me bake so much. So I'm gonna have this brownie and I'm having a Grey's Anatomy watch party with my friends where we're gonna watch the season six finale. So this is where I'll be for the rest of the night. It's nine o'clock and yeah. Oh God! No, God, please, no, no! So that pretty much sums up a typical day in my life in quarantine slash self-isolation. It's pretty standard, didn't do anything too interesting. It's pretty much what all my days look like pretty recently. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!